guys, DMV Solo Rider back with another video. Today we are just a little bit outside of Strasbourg, VA. And if you know where Strasbourg is, you might be asking yourself, hey, DMV Solo Rider, weren't you just out there when you rode to Seneca Rocks? And the answer to that question is, yes, I was. Before we dive in, I'd certainly appreciate if you hit that like button. I get my ride or ride related videos out every Friday, so click that subscribe button, smash that notification bell, you'll get alerted when my new videos are out, and I certainly appreciate you watching. See here's the thing, that Seneca Rocks ride has been kind of scratching in the back of my mind since I did it. If you happen to watch that video, you may recall when I hit a certain stretch of highway, I just fell in love with it nothing twisty about it it's just long sweeping highway over you know cutting through mountains over valleys it's just awesome but you know because that highway was so amazing and I was having such a great time it kind of detracted from the rest of my Seneca Rocks ride because I was missing that highway and uh, a couple days ago I was out doing another ride along the Susquehanna River and you know i really wasn't paying attention to the description of the ride uh, enough you know i thought it was more of a lazy country ride and certainly large parts of it were but there were a lot of twisties up and down hills it was a lot of fun another ride you guys will enjoy if you do it but i guess you know when i was thinking it was more you know a beautiful ride touring ride I was still thinking about the ride out to Seneca Rocks and missing that highway and so when I mistakenly thought the Susquehanna ride was a little more toury I think that's what was going on in the back of my mind and so this morning I woke up it's a nice day out, no rain or thunderstorms in the forecast here or out by Seneca Rocks. And I decided, you know what, I'm going back out there. So we're doing Seneca Rocks again, but we're going to do it a little different. I found out the highway is Route 48, Corridor H. Uh, the beautiful part starts at the uh, Virginia, West Virginia border and then runs supposedly all the way to Weston, West Virginia. I don't know if the whole stretch of road we're going to ride is as amazing as the stretch that had my attention when I rode out to Seneca Rocks, but we're going to find out. And then once we get to Weston, we'll double back, make a little detour to Seneca Rocks, because when I was out there last time, yours truly was a little tired, a little hot. Uh, I found a great spot where I had lunch, took some pictures, showed you guys that walk-up video. And uh, I forgot to get pictures of my bike in front of Seneca Rocks, which is kind of annoying to me because, you know, I like to do that in different places. So we're going to do a little detour to Seneca Rocks depending on, you know, how we're doing on time because I want to get those pictures. And if I got to ride my motorcycle up into that picnic area illegally, then we just might have to do that. And yes, for the third video in a row, I appreciate this is not in the DMV. But as I keep saying, if I can get there and back in a day, it's in the DMV to DMV solo riders. So there you go. I'll be honest, guys, this morning... When I was thinking about coming back out here, I was like, oh man, I just did a 300 mile ride on the Susquehanna River. If I flex my butt, my tailbone is still sore. I don't know if this is a good idea. But I looked at the weather forecast and, you know, who knows? It's the summer. You could get great weather every day, even when the forecast shows thunderclouds, or you could get a downpour you just don't know and today was the only day for a week where it was mostly sunny said some clouds but you know this is fine for clouds I have no problem with it 
and I decided I had to had to get on my bike and come out and I was kind of not feeling it but I'll tell you what as soon as I got on my bike and was jetting down the highway man I felt great I was so happy that I decided to come back out here just you know if you're kind of feeling blah you got nothing going on or you're kind of like I don't want to do this I, go ride your motorcycle man that is the, the best cure for anything that might ail you I promise all right now the ride can truly begin my friends Just look at that, man. Look at that. Can't beat it.
81 degrees, nice cool breeze. So happy I came back. just passed the sign that says freeway ends in one mile this is telling me to get on 32 so we'll stop check our map against my ride command planned route and make sure my GPS isn't screwing with me again miles from Weston see what Weston has to offer gotta get some gas gotta get something to eat I gotta sit down and look at the map so the map that I put together has us backtracking all the way the last section of corridor H route 48 and then heading down to Seneca rocks then backtracking again and taking route 48 back home but you know there's that whole like 50 mile gap through twisties got to see what time the sun's gonna set I don't know that I'd want to be there in pitch black only because I just don't know so here is our waypoint Gonna turn around. Well, Weston, I barely knew he. We're hitting the road. Unfortunately, it's already 
almost quarter of seven. And I'm four hours away from home as it is. And I have decided that instead of riding down to Seneca Rocks, because that's way too far right now, uh, the best thing for me to do to finish this ride is to just go back the way we came. I would like to get through that kind of country highway between the two sections of Corridor H before the sun goes down because there were some deer out there. And that's about the plan. So let's get going. So I guess today's ride will be more like 400 miles as opposed to 500 because I'm going to cut out the Seneca Rocks bit. And I'm going to have to have plenty of stops. I mean, my ass is already killing me. We're heading east. We've got the sun at our backs. That will be nice. I'm really bummed that I'm not going to make it to Seneca Rocks. Man, that is the difference between leaving at 6 a.m. and 12 a.m., 12 p.m. That bites. I almost feel like I can't count this ride for the channel because it's incomplete. back to Seneca Rocks today, but we did get one heck of a sunset in West Virginia. I have no idea how the GoPro is going to do in the dark. I've never tried. We'll just have to check it out. What a great ride, guys. Really. I may have been whining when we were on this stretch earlier, but man, so glad I came out today. Can't believe I almost didn't. Nice triumph. So curious to see how this video comes out at night. I didn't do low light or anything. I didn't even re research how to do it. <laughs> but it's pretty dark and we'll take this uh, 82 miles to Strasburg Virginia the jump on 66 back to DC want to say thanks for tuning in uh, again I will put the map and GPS coordinates on my Google Drive page you can find the link below in the description section for the video uh, I had a great time today I'm totally bummed we didn't make it back to Seneca Rocks but that's my fault just got too late of a start 
And when you're trying to do a 500 mile ride in a day, you can't mess around <laughs> like yours truly. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed filming it for you. I'd certainly appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up. And I'll put my ride videos and ride related content up every Friday. So hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell, make sure you get notified when my new videos are out. And until next Friday, ride safe and I'll catch you later.